So I have a 1564 it's fit, I think that's what it is. But it matches pretty well to the outside of my 22 show. Oh my gosh, guys, it's literally perfect. I guess it could be a tiny bit tighter. But hey, with a drill bit. Hey guys, sorry, I haven't really been showing you guys what I'm doing. But here is a very basic trigger and hammer assembly. This will be pulled upwards uh, by rubber bands. So will this. There's another pull point. Guys, sorry, I'm not really documenting this whole process very well. So I welded this in, by the way, last night. Uh, that is welded. I know it looks bad, but it's flush and. I'm just being sloppy. So I've cut out three discs in ground, cutting ground. Oh, that one's really hot still. Here's the washer. So my objective in welding a nail back onto itself is to make a ridge for your spring to push against. That way when the hammer strikes the pin it will come back. So here I have my firing pin. I'm going to put a nut on the back for a smooth uh, contact for the other plates. See how it comes back. So I hope you can see I know my camera's bad. I'm getting a new phone, so soon, and it'll be better. I hope now you can understand how this mechanism works. See, the ha this protrudes, so the hammer can strike it. And the spring pulls it back to starting position. Okay, I just cut out the shape. You will see soon why. Okay, I have drilled holes, so now this pivots. As you can see, these are both on a pivot. Kind of loose. So when I push this. Alright, guys, I am just getting ready to weld my pipe, my barrel, to the piece. Guys, I tried to do two beads, and it, the weld's not taking. This is so ugly. Uh, it's a pretty thick material, and it's pretty thin. I think this is galvanized, so I'm being very cautious about the fumes, just so you know. Got a vacuum that vacuums the fumes as I go. But, like, what is this? Ugh. Okay, guys, I turned it to AC and, like, really high. Uh, it kind of took... This is like the crappiest work I've ever done. Kinda, ugh, I hate it. I hate it. So I've not welded in this little part. And that is so it will fit nicely between the uh, receiver. Otherwise, it, uh, it's really hard to take that down. All right. Now, you should be able to see now why I've only welded to here. Because otherwise, I would never want to contact... But actually, you have to round this anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. I'll give you guys an idea of how the brake action works. So remember that trigger? Yeah, well, I bent it down and realized I could do kind of a two with one thing. You see... So, 
I mean, this is perfect. I was going to have to figure out a way to pull this up, but it does the same thing this way. So yeah, looking good. All right, guys. Uh, I went ahead and welded a post up for the pole spring to go to. Uh, so yeah. That's so nice. It's very crude, but it works, okay? Alright, guys. Uh, it's all together. I went ahead and heated and uh, banged down the pins. It's all set. So I'm going to go ahead and weld in my firing pin. Remember this. I have now welded on firing pin. Uh, yeah, I'll reinforce it tomorrow. Okay, guys, sorry, I kind of did a bunch of work on my own. So, yeah, I'll just go through it with you. First, uh, I don't know if I showed, I welded a post to pull against. I have a twisted piece of flat metal. It's so janky, guys, I can't tell you. And then I reinforced the firing pin. I also welded a tab on the hammer so it will strike. Here it is. It opens nicely. Ugh. What? I need gunpowder in it, that's it. Okay, made some modifications. Uh, let's see what we can find to shoot at. Hey, bales. Guys, it's kind of weak, but it's also kind of fun anyway. It's really cool. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, we're just gonna shoot down this pit. Let's see what we can do. It's kind of scary. Uh, it's so weak. <laughs> you see that nice trigger popping out? Okay, Let's see what we can do. Oh, that was a good one, I guess. <laughs> it's so fun, anyway, though. 